I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Carlissa apologizes to Tia Kemp for exposing her relationship with Rick Ross. Y'all made me slip and say some bullshit. That's what y'all did with Rock and Jaden. And y'all know I can't hold water. So as soon as y'all start saying some shit in these comments, then I answer, then I'm in trouble. That's why I'm going to stop reading the shit. Because y'all about to get me in trouble. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Girl, I don't know. Y'all done had me slip up and say something about Tia and Rick Ross. And now her man's is getting mad and she mad. And I'm sorry, Tia. I was just joking. Right. They tried to say Jaden and Bodine in the age bracket just wasn't matching. So I was like, maybe her mama, but not her. But I don't know, y'all. I really don't be knowing. Don't. I told y'all don't take. Nothing I say for face value unless it got something to do with Cali Blue or Dre, okay? Because I got telepathonesis when it comes to my kids, okay? I can just look up and do the thing, new, 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 new. Yep, and I know. I ask them. I done caught them in my mind doing all kinds of slick shit before. Ask them. Ask them if I'm lying. I knew when Cali lost her. I knew when she was sneaking out of the window and she was like 600 miles away from me. I, and they ask me how I know these things. I just go to sleep and I see them in a dream and then they dumb asses don't deny it. And they be like, yeah, who told you? Like the Lord told me. <laughs> when you go to sleep and you can't close your eyes and go to sleep without saying, oh Lord, hold on. You got my kids. You got them. Callie Blue over there acting a fool. Dre over there acting like he ain't got no sense. Callie over there doing this and doing that. And, and you got him though, right? Okay, all right, I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep because you know how I feel about these kids. Then he just tell me in a dream, like, girl, look at here. Let me tell you what happened with your kids that you think deserve to be on this pedestal. See, your daughter gave up and she was sneaking out of that bedroom window and you thought she was up over there reading them books. You, It'd be like that. And then I'd just be like, mm, okay, Blue, so you, you ain't supposed to be doing X, Y, and Z. And then I tell them, but then they don't believe me. I even get it is the color of the cars to watch out for. And these dumb get in the car with the, with the people I told them don't get in the car with. That's how hard-headed my kids is. And I know I wasn't as hard-headed. I know I wasn't. I know, the, I know there's a God and I wasn't as hard-headed. But my kids, I can tell them, mm-mm, nope, mm-mm, nope. And they going to do the opposite of what I say. Now, Blue didn't used to do that all the way up until he left my house. I could tell that mother don't cross the street yet. It's a, it's a pickup truck coming. And he'll put that foot back on the curb, look at me, and then I'll give him the green light and he'll go. We could get to the football game and I'll be like, no, left side. That right side is this. He'll go to the left side. Now, Dre, on the other hand, I'll be like, don't do this. Don't do that. He's going to be like, I'm just going to try it and see if you know what you're talking about. Because I don't really think you know what you're talking about. You feel me? Callie just straddled a fence. She'd be like, well, that shit didn't work for Dre. <laughs> and blew her baby and he'd be listening. So let me just half-ass listen. Okay? That's how it be. So I can tell you something about Callie, Blue, and Dre. And I'm done getting to the grandkids. Like, I'm starting to see they, see they stuff too. You know what I'm saying? The more you have them, the more you know. The more you have them, the more they look like you. The more you have them, the more they take on your spirits and your DNA. So you should be able to see. And if you can't see what your kids is doing when you close your eyes, you're not talking to God about them enough. Okay? Because, see, I can't even take them up nap. Dre had my ass praying 40 hours and 40 days and 40 nights, okay? Because he was a hot head, okay? So I've had to learn how to pray real quick. You heard me? I'm talking about real quick. <laughs> Dre like 14 out there fighting 22-year-old. I'm like, oh Lord. You see what I'm saying? So if you, if God ain't telling you to, what to tell them <laughs> just to see if they gonna listen to you, <laughs> you ain't praying enough. Either your kids ain't bad enough or they already too smart or something. But honey, I go to sleep. I'll be like, oh, hell, they kids is starting to go to sleep and dream. <laughs> the kids are starting to tell the parents what's going on. OK, because I have to tell the kids you need to pray for this one. You need to pray for your mama. You need to pray for your daddy because them they, they, they a little slow. 
You see, your mama and your daddy, they're a little slow. So this is what I'm going to need you to do, okay? Just in case I don't be here no more, I need you to know. You got to pray for my kids because they're a little slow, okay? They're going to do what they want to do, and then they're going to look at me like, you said a blue car, no. I said red, and you know I said red, and I tape recorded it because you know I pull out my camera for everything. Everything. Because I already don't know how they're going to try to get me. Everything them motherfuckers are sitting there for, I don't give a f if it was 13 years or four months or four years. Every time they sat there, they knew they was going to sit there before they sat there. Now, ask one of them to tell me and the Lord that we lying. Starting with Dre. What happened? I said, oh, no. I said a red car came by and it blew the back of this house off. Stop playing with them people. Okay, with some girls in the car, with some guys in the car. This means you know when a girl pull up with some dudes, it's about to get cracking and it ain't going to be good for you, okay? That might be all right, but it ain't going to be good, okay? Good. You got me? Got me. What do you do? Go to jail for 13 years. <laughs> you forgot the red card? Or, okay, maybe it wasn't a car. It was a red rag. Use your common sense a little bit. He ain't going to tell me the exact dream or uh, he, I'll be God. But if he give me some hints and I give you the hints and you don't put two and two together, you're going to have to sit the fuck down somewhere too. It happened to me too. I had to sit down too. I, once I sat down on that 14th day, I said, Lord, you ain't got to sit me down no more. I heard you. I ain't going to put my hands on nobody else unless they put their hands on me. Now, I didn't put my hands on nobody, but I started throwing stuff. You know what I'm saying? You take up one habit for another, but you can't do that. You can't do that because then, then I threw something and then the girl put me down. So that meant well, don't put your hands on nobody. Don't throw nothing at nobody. Don't do shit till they do something to you. <sighs> Hold on, pretty, pretty fine brown thing. Let us get you up on, on up out of the Sunday service. Let us get, let us remove you from your seat. Okay, because you ain't doing nothing here but distracting the, the sermon today. I'm letting Tokyo have her space right now because it just, it's a bit much. I'm just gonna let, let her have her space right now so we don't have no problems with season two. I'm, we all, we just letting her have some space, that's all. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.